If you're like me, your day consists of one mad dash after another. And when you like to eat as much as I do, you want to make doubly sure you're still eating well. So, how do you do it? Food in a Flash has the answers. The focus here is on cooking great tasting meals in minutes and maximizing the cooking and shopping time you do have for tastier and more nutritious food in a flash. A preview is next on TV FN. The average American spends about eight hours a day sleeping, 10 hours a day working and commuting, and about four and a half hours ironing, mowing the lawn, dusting, getting the kids ready, paying bills, changing diapers, raking, and relaxing. That leaves about an hour and a half for everything else. Hardly time to cook a wholesome meal. Or is it? If you know some tricks to shopping smart and cooking quick, you can prepare and serve dishes like these in less than half an hour. We'll feature many great recipes that cook in as few as 10 to 15 minutes. A busy lifestyle need not take away from the enjoyment of cooking or eating. Food in a Flash will offer hints on outfitting your kitchen for speedy meals, how to shop effectively, and how to cook efficiently, all with an eye toward convenience and nutrition. Best of all, it'll show you how to make a variety of sumptuous dishes in less than 30 minutes. Here's a taste of Food in a Flash. Today, Food in a Flash features four fabulous fast-cooking recipes. Honey mustard chicken, ginger grated carrots, seasoned pita toast, and a quick, colorful first course of apple squash soup. Begin the soup by cooking two tablespoons of chopped onions in two tablespoons of butter until the onions are softened, about two minutes. Preparing any dish goes much faster if you gather all the ingredients and utensils before you start to work. Professional chefs call this mise en place a technique that is used in efficient kitchens throughout the world. When the onions are soft, stir in one teaspoon or more of curry powder and cook briefly. Stir in two thawed packages of butternut squash and season with salt, pepper, and a good grating of nutmeg. Frozen vegetables make great soups. Use your microwave to thaw them or put them out to thaw in the morning. Add seasonings, canned broth, and use the food processor to puree chunky vegetables into a creamy texture. Add one and a half cups of chicken broth, and then one and a half cups of apple cider. Finally, add one peeled, chopped golden delicious apple, and let the soup simmer. A quick soup like this can be combined with other Food in a Flash recipes to make a delicious, well-rounded meal for even the busiest of people. For honey mustard chicken, you need four broiler fryer chicken halves, each weighing about one and a quarter pounds. Preheat the broiler and then season the chickens on both sides with two to three teaspoons of seasoned salt. Place the chicken on a broiling pan skin side down and spread each half with a half tablespoon of Dijon mustard. The chicken will take only about 25 minutes total to cook. Begin by broiling the chicken five to six inches from the heat source for 15 minutes. Massage one lime on the counter under your palm before cutting it so the juice will flow more easily, a tip that works for all citrus fruits. Stir the juice into one-third cup of honey and set it aside. Here's a tip about what kind of chicken to buy when you want to get dinner ready in a hurry. Broiler halves take about 15 minutes on each side. Cut up fryers take 15 to 20 minutes after browning. Boned, skinless breasts cost more, but need only three to four minutes on a side, so they save valuable time. Now, let's make ginger grated carrots. Begin by grating six medium carrots in a food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, a hand grater is another quick way to prepare vegetables for cooking. They're inexpensive, and effective. Heat two tablespoons of butter in a medium skillet and add the carrots. Season with salt, pepper and ginger and toss. Saute until tender, about 10 to 12 minutes. It's always faster to choose vegetables that require a minimum amount of peeling or trimming, like zucchini or carrots, or 
go to the supermarket salad bar or fresh produce area for pre-trimmed pieces of broccoli or cauliflower. Try some seasoned pita toast. Start by making a seasoned butter known as a compound butter by creaming four tablespoons of softened butter and adding one tablespoon of minced garlic or seasoned salt. Then add two tablespoons of a chopped fresh herb like cilantro or parsley. Spread the compound butter on the cut side of whole wheat or regular pita bread, then broil or toast until lightly browned. When the chicken is cooked for 15 minutes, brush the lime-honey mixture on one side and broil for five more minutes. Turn the chicken, spread the other side with the remaining mustard, and return the pan to the broiler for five more minutes or until tender. Test by poking with a thin skewer. The juices should appear yellow or clear. If they're pink, the chicken needs to cook more. Remove the chicken and baste again with honey-lime mixture before serving. Just before serving the carrots, squeeze fresh lemon juice over them and add a pat of butter to finish and flavor the dish. As you can see, with recipes from Food in a Flash, delicious, nutritious food doesn't have to be costly or time-consuming. There are hundreds of fabulous dishes that can be prepared in under 30 minutes, and all with the joy that accompanies cooking and eating a scrumptious meal. Look for Food in a Flash only on the TV Food Network. You are what you eat, and what you eat is what the Television Food Network is all about. It's the world's first 24-hour cable network devoted exclusively to food, glorious food. Not just how to eat it, but how to choose it, prepare it, present it, enjoy it, and how it affects your health. TVFN is also about fun and excitement, about travel and the world of exotic and ethnic cuisines you've yet to discover. But mostly it's about you and your family and the one thing we all have in common, food. The Television Food Network, it's good for you. Here's another food-wise tip from the TV Food Network. Which milk is best for a baby? Certainly for infants under one year old, breast milk or formula is the best milk for a baby. But for children between one and two, experts recommend feeding your baby whole milk because whole milk contains fat. In fact, eight grams of fat per eight ounces. Since children two years old or under need 50% of their calories from fat, they should have between 60 and 70 grams of fat per day. Fat is a nutrient essential for brain growth and nerve development. So remember, whole milk is best for children one to two.